Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are doing the weekly oracle card guidance and I'm using the Chinese fortune reading cards right here. So I want you to make a choice between one and five. So there are five options today. So just choose the number between one, two, three, four and five and you may go ahead and go directly to your reading. So I want to say that I'm doing this in the spirit of a new year that's coming up as well as the new as well as the new decade. But this reading is always timeless. I also want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all the people who comment. I really appreciate that as well as all the people who view the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we are asking, what is our guidance at this moment? And the way in which I want to do this reading uh, at this moment is more like a beginning. Um, it's like, you know, what can we expect and what are our blessings at this moment? So it's not so much uh, about our guidance for the week as more, it's more about what our blessings are for the moment. So for those of you who have chosen the option number one, your card is reunions. And so the blessings that we can expect in terms of the upcoming year, as well as the perhaps this week, uh, or what's more relevant for this week, is that there is likely to be a reunion, a reunion of somebody that you have uh, missed, somebody that you've been hoping to to reconnect with somebody who forms a valuable part of your life. So I'm picking up quite different energy here. And I want to say that for most of you, it's somebody who who was lost. You've experienced like a hole in your life. So think about the person that you're missing. It could be a friend. It could be a loved one. It could be your twin flame kind of. But it's somebody that you've uh, that you've missed and somebody that has been part of your life in the past. And they are going to be entering your life again. And um, you might find that this message is actually relevant for this week. But I feel that this will, uh, this message is likely relevant for a longer period, like for, for some of you, it's relevant for the whole year. This, this message is relevant for, you know, a New Year's Eve party, or some kind of dinner that you might be invited to. But it is a reunion of sorts, a union that um, brings light into your heart, it brings joy into your life, and it brings a great sense and feeling of completion into your life. Okay, so that is the message for those of you who've chosen the option number one. For those of you who've chosen the option number two, we are asking, what is our blessing for this time? What is our blessing for this time? Ah, we have reunions again. Okay, so um, I read this message for the first option, and uh, it's also the option for the, the second. Um, the second option is also reunions. So um, with this one, however, I feel the energy is quite different. The other one, the first option was quite a joyful energy. It's a feeling of that person coming into your life and it's a feeling of completion. But here there's a quieter feeling. There's a more subdued feeling. So it's it's more like a reunion in terms of your energy. So it might well be that you will reconcile with somebody that you might have fallen out with or you might be meeting somebody that you have not seen in a very long time. But it's not... Um, necessarily a feeling that this person has been missing from your life or that you miss this person. It's more subdued feeling or it's a feeling that they kind of slip in uh, unnoticed. That's actually the feeling I get here. So it's as if it could be just on an energetic level that this person's been gone for a while energetically and then this person kind of slips in in the middle of the night into your energy again and they, you are thinking about this person again, or you're feeling their energy, and you're feeling supported by them. But it's an unspoken reunion. It's an, it's not a, it isn't a. Uh, apologies for that sound. Yes, it isn't a, a reunion that is, something that is, come out of, um, out of meeting somebody again and reconciling with them and coming close to them, and going out with them or or forming a friendship you know, becoming friends again or becoming a lovers again. It's not that kind of reunion. It's a reunion where that person may simply let you know that you're welcome back in their life again. And it's up to you to make um, a move or to make a step or to do something about that. So um, 
it's not an obvious reunion and it is something but the door is open once again so that is the um yeah that is the reunion for those of you who've chosen um the option number two and i feel that once again as i've said for the other cards so this is a feeling that this is something that could happen during this year uh as well as it might even be prevalent for the decade but for for most of you who've chosen option number two i feel that this is going to be relevant for you for the month of january so it's not just now and these days but also uh in the month of january so moving on for those of you who've chosen the option number two I'm sorry. So moving on, for those of you who've chosen the option number three, what is your message? What is your blessing uh, for this week ahead and for the time ahead? And we have the card of transformation. So for some of you, you may be thinking, oh, more transformation. Haven't I been enough through enough already? And uh, here I feel the transformation is going to be more physical transformation. So it's going to be physical in that it might be hormonal. It might be that you um, gain a lot of weight or you re uh, reduce your weight. It might be uh, just in terms of your health. It could also be that your home changes or your car changes. So, you know, health uh, is also related to your car as well as your home. It's like your shell. It's the that which houses your spirit. And in this case, I feel that the transformation is not an internal, spiritual, uh, ongoing kind of long a dark night of the soul type of transformation it's more that something is changing outside of you so it might be in your body it might be in your um in your home it might be with regard to your car and i asked what is the blessing that you're receiving at this time what is the blessing that you will receive in this in this time uh, as in in the longer time frame as well and so this is actually going to be a blessing for you so if you are uh, you know, concern that I've said, oh, you know, you can be adding a lot of weight or losing a lot of weight. It's not something that you need to be concerned about. It's more likely that you will have a good run from this, that you will have a good experience from this energy and that it will serve you. This energy, this transformation here is going to serve you. And I also feel with regard to this um, card that the transformation is going to change the way in which you live. It's going to change your daily routines. It's going to change the way in which you create, the way in which you, it'll change your livelihood. It will change the way in which you work and the way in which you interact with people. So I feel like this transformation is very much on the outside. It's very much on how you communicate with people, where you live, how you live and how you move around or how, you know, how you carry yourself in your body as well as outside of your body. So that is your message for uh, those of you who've chosen the option number three. And so we're moving on to those of you who've chosen the option number four. The question we're asking this week is, as part of your oracle guidance is, what is your blessing for this time? What is the blessing that you can expect in this time and as we go ahead? What is the blessing that we can expect in this time and as we go ahead? Oops. And we have here the card of hope. So uh, what I'm hearing here is that all hope is not lost. So there might be some of you who are feeling like you are really at rock bottom, like you've really hit, you know, the worst stage of your life or that you're going through quite a lot and uh, you don't know if it can get better. You don't know whether it's just downhill from here. You can't see the positivity. If you're experiencing that, if you're one of those people experiencing that, then there's still hope and there's a way to turn this around. There is hope in terms of your health, in terms of your well-being, in terms of your financial um, uh, status, in terms of the work that you're doing, in terms of reconciling with loved ones, especially if you have a long lost family that you're hoping to reconcile with. There is hope in coming together here. There's also hope in terms of love. There's hope that you could actually meet a loved one. And if you're hoping that you could be together with somebody that you love right now. This is a different kind of feeling that I'm getting. It's more like it's time to move on from that and um, 
and actually be open to new love. So I'm not suggesting that you should end your relationships or anything like this, but this is a message that's especially for those of you who are not in a relationship right now, but you're longing for somebody, you're longing to be in a relationship with someone. And so this card talks to me about, you know, there is hope for love. And are you open to actually being open to love coming from somewhere else than where you'd like it to come from? So that's one of the 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 messages here. The other message is that um, there is it's it's necessary to be hopeful. It's necessary to be to take charge in terms of taking that energy within you and uh, bringing it into your life and just bringing it really close to you and and moving with with it transforming it um molding it in the way that you want to so it's like i'm seeing like energy that can be molded or i see it's like um like taking some plasticine or some play-doh and just playing with it and creating whatever it is that you want to from your life and this card is showing me that you the hope that they're giving you the hope that is your blessing for this year is that that is what actually can be this is what can actually come to pass that you can actually create the life that you desire it's not too late it is still possible there is still hope even if things haven't gone so well in the past there is still hope okay so that's your message for those of you who've chosen the option number four so for those of you who've chosen the option number five we are asking this week what is our blessing for this time this time including this week this month this year this decade what is our blessing And we have a proposal. So I feel here that this message is more relevant for those of you um, that are taking into account the next kind of 12 to 14 months, um, but is relevant as well uh, right now. So this energy has started off already for you and is here and it will continue for, uh, I would say, up to about 16 months, so to say. So the word that we have here as proposal but what i'm actually feeling what i'm seeing is that there are a lot of opportunities for you like setting up businesses or work opportunities or to be able to express yourself in a very different way and when I'm talking about expression i'm not talking about expressing your feelings or something like this i'm talking about being able to express that your talent your inner talent that which is innate to you that which is intrinsic as well as um, being able to portray yourself and what is your your real skills right you're going to have so many opportunities to be able to portray yourself in this way and these proposals are going to come in the form of being able to to just have the platform to be able to sharpen your skills or to show your skills or to show your your talents and i do see that there's a right that i see like a rising of businesses like more than one business or more than one opportunity and there's money attached to it and there's there's actually opportunity to earn money from it. So there's an opportunity to earn money in an honest way uh, by doing that which you love and by doing that which you enjoy. So, you know, this card here, it has a, a ring on it and, um, so, you know, it's a proposal as in an engagement, uh, as in somebody's asking you to be married. And I feel here that might be true for some of you, but for most of you, it's the proposals are that which is uh, it's really related to money, really related to great opportunities coming your way where you may be able to earn more and, um, and do more, where you'll come alive in your work. So right now it's like this feeling that things are kind of just going along and not really moving along, not really, you're not really feeling alive in what you do. And that this is, uh, well, that's maybe not for every single one of you, but that is the feeling I get as an overriding energy. And here it's like there's an opportunity there's many proposals coming your way not just one and in that there may be an opportunity or proposal for love or that somebody asking to partner with you somebody wanting to partner with you not just in terms of work but also in terms of love now i'm not saying that uh this person who will partner with you in terms of work will also partner uh with you in terms of love 
if there are partnerships in terms of love, it will be separate. But that is your blessing for this time ahead. And for me, as I mentioned at the start of this, is that the energy lasts for you here for up to about 14 months, 14 to 16 months, I would say. And this is a really fantastic energy and it's coming already. So for those of you who are willing and able to um, to to partake in that or to to take these proposals, to do something with it, it will be a very worthy time for you indeed. And you will be able to make great gains in your life as well as profits. And uh, it's, you know, it's up to you uh, whether you're strategic about it and how you want to be able to play that. So that was your message for those of you who've chosen the option number five. So I just want to say thank you to once again to all of you who come by and to all of you who come to this channel. I hope that this message has been useful. I wanted to do something a little bit different than the usual Oracle card uh, guidance. And I thought that we would look at our blessings, considering that we are entering a new decade shortly. And once again, this uh, reading is timeless. So if you want to come back and listen to it again and choose a different option or choose the same option, uh, it will be a good reminder, a good feeling for you. Um, or not a good feeling necessarily, but a good sense of what is and what has been. So I thank you all for coming by and I'm wishing you a fabulous new beginning into the next year as well as the next decade. All the best to all of you and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.